Oh, we're back at it, boys! Woo! Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. I'm back. It's been a while. But it's been a while. As you can tell by the scruff and the hair on my face. I'm not sure what episode I'm on. I think it's 29, but I'm just going to double check. So as you know, I've been away working. Who cares? It's over. It's done. But I've been slacking on the podcast. I didn't keep up with it. What episode was this? Yeah, 28. So we're on 29! Hold on. Let me just check something here. Am I? No, I wouldn't be. I'm not even going to say it. Wait, this isn't what I'm looking for. I don't even know how to get there. (sighs) Maybe this button? Uh, 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 Here we go. I'm getting somewhere. This is a boring start. Oh, look, I'm okay. I'm fine. Okay, never mind. Never mind! Where were we? Oh, look, I got. I still have my cards. Remember the, remember the cards? Got one right here. Uh, it's only got two things on it, though. But if you take a look behind me, take a look, see? There's been some updates on the uh, backdrop here, as you can see. Used to only go up to Mr. Doggy style here. But now we've got this guy. Eminem, Eminem Show, Soundgarden. Oh, wait, no, a minute. These two were here. Gizmo. At the window. So, two, two Eminem ones, and then Soundgarden, another Eminem. Audio Slave, uh, Kendrick Lamar, Damn, and then Dr. Dre, uh, The Chronic 2001. 2001, I've come back for you. I've been reading the words on that are scattered across this backdrop. They're covered up now, but it did say something. It, it, it almost read a message, if you read it correctly. And it was frightening, the words they were using. But now I don't remember or know what they were because they're covered up. Don't even know how long I've been podcasting for. How many minutes have, been, have I been going? Start up a timer, Google. You're slaking. Oh, that's so disgusting. Why do you burp in the microphone? Because I feel like it. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Okay, go out. Go out. I don't want it anymore. Vape Nace, y'all. I lost my groove completely. I used to be able to do these podcasts. Not that I'm not saying that I've been doing them for very long, because I haven't. 
But there's a few times where I do a podcast and I felt in the mood and I felt good and I felt ready. And I could easily transition from topic to topic. But it's hard when you have two topics. And I don't want to talk about certain things. I don't care about news. Well, I do. But I don't want to talk about it. So we're going to talk about other things. I like to think I like to think about things throughout the day and just write them down on these cards. And then vomit into the microphone so you listen to it. Oh, look what I did. It's so sensitive. I'm picking up everything through these headphones and they're garbage. They're 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 junk. They're the worst headphones on the planet. And I'm wearing them. God damn. Who's this ugly bearded motherfucker? Name's Rodney. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. Oh. He farts and burps in the microphone and he doesn't give a shit about anything. It's a stupid show, so don't watch it. That's what I'll be. That's what I'll. Yeah, you know. You know. Creme brulee. Uh, don't want a wedding. That's that's topic number one. Don't want a wedding. Uh, I don't think they're necessary. What could we possibly... What could we gain? Or why do we need it? We, we really don't. Um... You know, it's just a ring. I hate listening to my voice. I hate listening to my voice! Why do we have to wear headphones, John? Jiminy Cricket, why do we gotta wear these stupid fucking headphones? Oh, that might be better. Maybe I should stop wearing these headphones. Home, home on the range. Yeah, fuck the headphones. Fuck you, headphones. Nobody wants you at the party. And who wants to get married? All it is is a ring and a piece of paper and a lot of money. You put this money in a pot and you throw it out the window and light it on fire and step on it. For what? Is it for religious purposes? Maybe. But most of the time it's not. It's just a tradition that feels good. Ooh, family. It's kind of uh, selfish in a way. You want everyone to just look at you. Just look at us. Look, we're married and we're happy. We're in love. And we're going to have childs. Come celebrate, please! We'll pay for everything. And give you an open bar. God, that's a lot of money. But hey, it's fun. Weddings are fun. If you want to have a wedding and invite me, go for it. I don't care. I won't buy you a gift. Yeah, it will. Of, co- of course I'll buy you a gift. We'll puke in a box. Hear the geese? Geese are flying south. We'll see you in Florida. Turd burglars. Um, yeah, weddings. Sometimes it's a touchy subject for people. People get real upset when you bring up the idea of weddings and not wanting to have them. Because it's been a fantasy. A lot of women have this fantasy of being married when they're a child. Well, (laughs) like as a child growing up, they have the fantasies of what it'll be like as an adult getting married. And then when when a dude comes around and is like, No, fuck you, bitch. Get the fuck away from me. I want none of that shit. (laughs) Then, uh... It hurts them. Severely. 
And they say, oh, I can't continue on if you're not going to marry. And then you ask the question, well, why? What's the big deal? It's nothing. It's something we made up. It's, it's, it would make no difference. We would just have a cool little party for a few days. And then it's back to normal. Only this time we're in more debt. So why bother? Why do you say you need it? I don't think you need it. No one needs it. And then, but if you if you say that to a girl, that just pisses them off. Why can't girls just um, listen and then uh, maybe think about it first? And come to a realization that, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, just think about it. What if we all lived in a trash bag? You know what I'm saying? Trash bag? My hair's getting long on my face. I think I need to trim the mustache hair part. Because it keeps going in my mouth. And let me tell you something about mustache hairs. Um, drinks, especially, love to stick to it. Fluid, any kind of fluid. It'll grip every single hair. You wipe it once. No, that's not good enough. Twice. No, that's not fucking good enough. It, it's it's a pain. It seems like the more you wipe, the more you spread, and the less your mustache gets dry. So you just give her the, give her the all underlip vacuum suck and get what you can. And then let the rest of it crust up. And then pick it out in the shower. So that's drinks. With the mustache. Food. Um, it'll stick. Uh, and again, it's kind of the same thing. The chunky bits will come out right away. But the liquidier stuff, it kind of globs on. And binds to the hair. And it's hard to rub it up. You gotta really scrub. Scrub and pull and scrub and pull. That's what it's like having a mustache. And, I mean, I don't have a long enough beard for really food to get into it. Kinda does, I guess. Maybe if stuff dribbles down... I've never really had stuff in my beard. Had her in my mustache, though. That's the most annoying bits. The moustache. The muzzolini. I'm never wearing those headphones again. Ever. It's like putting me in a toilet. That's what it feels like. This chair is squeaky. Can you, I wonder if you can hear the squeakiness of this chair. Oh, my tum tum is a rumble umbling. Not because I'm hungry. Feels like I gotta take a big ol' shit. How long have we been going for? Ten minutes. Felt like a decade. Rodney, come my way. Oh, Rodney. Please won't you come my way. Where is Rodney? Where is Rodney? Rodney! Rodney! I 
see clouds of blue. Red roses too. I see them bloom. Stomping on in the middle. And I think to myself. What a wonderful world. Thank you, ladies and gentle fish. Thank you. That was Bob Seeger walking on a prairie moon night. <laughs> okay, from now on, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna be just constantly writing shit down on these cards. Because there's nothing worse than having a card that only has two pieces of shit on it. And you use them up in the first five minutes. So let me let me start thinking of some shit right now. Down my gizmo podcast number 30. Oh my god, next, next time it's going to be episode 30. I better make it a good one. There's going to be free Xbox giveaways, free PlayStation giveaways... Free 100 inch TV giveaways, free whatever your heart desires. I'm going to give the whole world away. Episode 30. No. Maybe episode 300. We'll see. So, episode 30. What should we talk about in episode 30? Can't even figure out what we're talking about this episode, and I'm already thinking about next episode. That is some good business. I can't. I don't know what term I was gonna use, so I figure business is close enough. Close enough. Close enough. You have enough clothes in your closet to fill Japan. Nah, that's not a good one. Hum digger digger hum ding ding hey. Okay, this isn't gonna work. And it never will work. The ideas have to come to you. You can't just run out to the idea factory and pull them out of the machine. We don't live in that era yet. So right now, you got to wait for an inspirational moment to happen in your brain that snaps and poofs and puffs and melts out your earlobes. And you say, oh, that's beautiful. And you write her down. Put it in a file. Forget about it. And never go back to it. <coughs> That was a gross one. See, I, I don't even realize that I'm burping. I think there's something mentally wrong with me. What a great podcast. 15 minutes. I think it's going to have to end right now. 15 minutes of fame is up, bruh. Even though this video is longer than 15 minutes, I started the timer a little late. As you recall. So for me, it's 15 minutes. For you, it's probably maybe closer to 20. I don't know. I'm not a geometric optic cube. Well, that's the end of the fucking episode. So, fuck you.